Hi. Okay, so we're going to start organic reactions. So in order to truly understand organic reactions, you have to be able to draw the displayed diagram of each of those organic compounds in order to make sure that you have, um, you're able to see what happens. And if you can see what's happening, it makes it a lot more logical than just memorizing it. So the first reaction that we're going to do is substitution, and it's literally like a substitution in sports. If I am calling a substitution as a coach, I'm wanting to pull one player off of the court and push one player onto the court. So that's exactly what's going to happen here. Now, because I'm pulling a player off, it's a saturated uh, court already, right? I already have maximum players out there. So in order to put my all-star player back in, I need to pull somebody off. So here I have a saturated compound, an alkane. It's saturated because it has no double bonds or triple bonds. And I want to put a chlorine molecule, uh, put a chlorine atom onto this uh, molecule. So and now remember Cl2 looks like this, Cl and Cl. And so you can pick any of these hydrogens. I just happen to choose this bottom one. And I'm going to take this hydrogen off of the field. And I'm going to put this chlorine onto the field. And they're going to swap places. And so what I end up with is the chlorine onto my methane molecule. And then on the bench is that hydrogen with that second chlorine. So on the bench is the hydrogen with the second chlorine. Does that make sense? So this is my field or my court or whatever that I'm substituting my comp my atom into. So this is methane plus chlorine yields chloromethane plus, now this is not hydrochloric acid because in order for it to be an acid, it needs to be aqueous. In order for it to be an aqueous environment, that's a water environment. And these are oils, oils and water don't mix, right? Crude oil. And so it's not gonna be aqueous, but rather this would be a gas molecule. Now the thing about it being a gas molecule is that I can't call it hydrochloric acid anymore, but rather it is hydrogen chloride. So I have to name that hydrogen chloride, okay? Just like it was a, um, a covalent compound, because it is not an acid. Okay, so substitution happens with alkanes. This X squared could stand for any halogen. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap those two positions and so I end up with an alkyl halide and the H coming off of the field bonded to that Cl like that. Okay, so here's another example uh, and in this case my X is going to be my Br2, my bromine. So here I have propane, again saturated field, and so I'm going to substitute, I'm going to pull off one of these hydrogens, and I'm going to stick a bromine onto the molecule instead. So let's say I pick the middle carbon to have a hydrogen pulled off of it. So here's that bromine there, and then that substitution would look like this, that H would come over here and had H br on the bench and i've substituted this middle h for the br or i could have chosen the first carbons right on either end and so in that case i would end up with a br at the first carbon and an hbr on the bench and actually when you're doing this in the labs you get a mixture of all of this happening so i get a mixture of two bromopropane and one bromopropane and hydrogen bromide Okay, so it happens with alkanes because they're saturated. It also happens with aromatics because they're considered to be saturated. So although an aromatic compound kind of can be drawn like this, it's not really a double bond, right? And so because it's not really a double bond, it's not really unsaturated. So we consider these to be so stable that they're considered to be saturated. And so if this is a saturated molecule, then in order to get my chlorine on, I have to call a substitution. And so I have hydrogens on each of these carbons. Remember it's C6H6, C6H6 plus the chlorine. I'm gonna pull off any of those hydrogens and substitute it. So I chose that one. So here's this hydrogen on the bench with the other chloride. So I'm gonna get, oops, I forgot to put my seal on that one. So I'm gonna get H C6H5Cl, so chlorobenzene, and hydrogen chloride on the bench. So substitution happens with saturated compounds only, saturated compounds being the alkanes or the aromatics, and you literally swap them. 
and you always end up with HCL, HBR, HI produced. So as soon as I see this second product, I know it's a substitution.